they don't like Montang. They've never liked Montang. It's actually going to be a Capitao, which again, not a bit not bad band. We've been in seeing own. him used a lot more, especially for executes that were are kind of connected. We've Winter. been seeing this become a trend recently. You kind of have the two different anti roam styles now. You have both both teams don't want to have to deal with that possibility in late round. Mira as well, a band that we've been seeing for well over a year now. And she's truly incredible on Cafe. And their sight set up positions. A little bit of roaming Better presence, though. And Joystick in the meanwhile is a leap out through the windows. And he's going to be able to find Achieved in the early round. Makes it back in through the garage downstairs as well. Achieved known for his buck play and those nades. But it's going to be Shepard to tack on as Pojo Man will fall. It seems like Tem Team Empire being able to continue this ride as Merkel fall next. Only Bolo and Bio left alive. And it seems that Team Empire has chosen the turtle route instead of getting overly aggressive. They're going to continue to use Joystick. But the crossfires from Karzak. You can see he's got access to work his way inside of the freezer at least, but unfortunately that's not much, especially with the diffuser down right at the doorway, and he would very easily find himself picked if he tried to push for this. So he's going to work his Attackers way up now. The bomb diffuser. They should be able to detect on that. And oh, there you go. Nice and easy for Dan. He's got a small little punch hole there. Quickly takes out Bio. Never throw leaning, kids. Never throw while you're leaning. It, it messes up the trajectory, and a lot of the times oh. you will bounce something off and almost die. Pojo's going to actually start planning as a Nitro Soul goes off. Where is Pojo planning? Merc's going to find a kill as well. They recognize out now where that is going off. Toxic Babe out. I don't know if they were too focused on dealing with the buck upstairs or something else went wrong, but with Bolo picking up the next kill on Shepard, it's isolated out. Karzeka surrounded in a 1v4. He's got less than half the defuse time left. Yes, he will be able to get the easy kill against Merc, because he was pre-aimed for it. Pojo Man quickly trades, and there you have it. And unfortunately, without the Twitch, oh, that's actually Joystick finally getting a little bit over-aggressive. Biologic able to catch it. Merc gets a second kill as well. They do lose Bolo in the process to Karzeka from well across the way, but at the moment, TSM winning the trade, which is exactly what they need. The problem is, though, the defensive setup here from the guys on Empire is still strong, but Merc, again, bringing his team back into the fold here with some kills that were desperately needed. Now another one found by Merc as he gets three on the round and Biologic cleans it up. And by denying that and forcing oh. him to basically do that and just go for wide open peaks, it allows, as you were saying in the last round, it plays oh. TSM right oh. in Empire's hands. Another peek from Joystick certainly takes the man a moment, but he gets the second kill against Bio, bringing us down to what? Another one! He finds Achieved as well down the White Hall. They're both going to immediately vacate the area. Gets aggressive on site. It's Bolo to start things off once again. A quick shot, but they're both going to be down. Bolo can still pick himself up, but it doesn't matter. Shepard immediately identifying out that he has it down. Can the members of Empire pull off this 2v4? somehow reaffirm their position on the site. As if not, it's going to be a tie game. TSM at 3-3 achieved. Takes the first duel against Shepard. Not able to find much, but he does get wrapped on by Scyther a second later. Oh, as it seems to all fall apart now. A double for Scyther as he continues to tack on. Has to go for the defuse. It's going to be held down by Shepard. They're going to have to try and get aggressive through this door. It's a fake, though. Quick shots. Does Shepard find one? Shepard with a quick peek. Doesn't have too much time. Shepard's going to stick it. Has to act quickly. Will he hop off? He will, but Bio to find it. TSM ties it up on their offensive side. That's definitely something, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, oh, he's going to hop outside and then get... He the got hit. one, too. Okay. He got Dan. That's that's a big pick as well. That's going to be the Thatcher. They're not going to be able to get any of these open. Bio more than likely already has those bandits down as well. So they're going to have to rotate underneath. We have Merc doing his best joystick impression. And they're going to pop open the red stair, or the red stairs hatch leading into Christmas. This will probably... Never mind. This will probably start to first it's back Merc, but apparently not. He runs out a window. <laughs> what? What? Oh! How is he stopped being stopped? Picks up another kill. Still going, by the way. Still alive at this point as he works his way back into Garage. Shepard was only able to trade onto another player, which is not even part of this fight. Now we'll look for a few more, but no, Bolo, the elder man himself, shuts it down from the other side of the site. The problem, they don't have an easy path into the freezes. They have to walk out. There's the hole in the floor as well, which allows for Achieve to run right back, start finding more picks. Joystick will make a wrap around. Dan also catches Biologic too, but Merc and Pojo Man trade those frags right back. And it's now all on Joystick. They should be able to hear this barbed wire getting popped. You can see Pojo Man throwing out smoke grenades to stop him from making the push. Meanwhile, the rest of TSM can set up at the other side of Christmas and the Whitehall in order to stop any chance of this. Now, the third smoke grenade does get countered, but regardless, he'll run into the well-established setup at this point from TSM. An easy closeout for them as they put themselves on map point. A newer effect has been added to this breaching charge as well. If you're directly under them, when they explode, they kind of stun you just a little bit in a very weird fashion, but Joystick will continue to tack on for Team Empire as TSM seems to be falling apart. It's going to be Bolo to try and find some frags. He will down the man with the diffuser, but Scyther to find Bolo. It's going to be all left up to Pojo Man with that MP7, not rocking the shotgun this time on Bandit. Diffuser will get picked up, so we'll be able to recognize that one from behind the bar. Does not have the Nitro Cell to try and pick up anything. Just going to play for the cross and listen. It's going to be Scyther with a frag grenade, but he'll pick it up with the lead of the weapon instead. Team Empire trying to bring this one back. Back to this game for just a moment here. We've got Dan starting things off. Great. 
Manages to find Achieved first this round. No Nitro Cell business this time. Pojo Man, though, does catch a response, and it's against Joystick as well, who's been pivotal to the entry power here for Empire on this attack. That could have some bad omens for Empire in the late round. Bolo also able to get incredibly aggressive. You peek into this wrong, the man's gonna rip your head off. Wide swing, and it's actually gonna be Karzeka to win. It's a trade! Other. Bolo, Karzeka battling it out. But again, TSM going to come out on top. That's not a bad trade by Bolo. Merc continues to tack on. Shepard will fall. It's all up to Dan. We haven't seen too much of him from this game just yet. Merc with the one. Merc with the one as he will get aggressive. Merc wins it out on an aggressive peak, and it's going to be TSM winning the first map here on Cafe. So a great start for TSM as they do take control of their own map pick. With that being said, we have Capital, Mira, as well as Echo banned out. And we've talked about Echo quite a bit recently. But I wouldn't hold your breath for him just yet because they still have to try and get some pressure downstairs. And this Rome game has wasted so much time. Bolo's still inside of the bathroom as well, trying to play Deadpool's advocate towards Team Empire right now. They thought everything was clear, but not for long. As it's going to continue to attack on Bios upstairs as well. There's only one man downstairs. It's Pojo. 30 seconds left as TSM continues to try and put the pressure on. Bio continue to try and win out this gunfight, but it's going to be Scyther as they rip open the Moto hatch. All that remains is Pojo. Pojo Both going to try and get aggressive towards Moto, but it's going to be Pojo to try and tack on. He finds the head off Scyther, makes it a 1v1, but Shepard wins it out at the last second. Void or just pre-aim for him when they move in. Scyther, though, is going to end up being first to be found here, but Joystick able to trade that right back. Pojo Man, though, keeping it in an advantage situation for TSM. There's still one player as well, keeping them at a cross angle in Garage. is not going to allow for an easy execution. Pojo Man pushes out into construction to find Karzeka. Empire continue to fall to pieces, and just like that, We'll see Shepard and Dan get picked off by Biologic and Bolo to give TSM their first round on number three. Everything in the world to try and shut that down, but it has to work out. Toxic Babes now ring through. It's going to be an immediate trade between the two teams as Shepard as well as Bolo will fall. Both big picks, especially with the Thermite. Actually, now the execute coming in. Joystick starts this off with an entry. Rest of the team not going to be much further behind. Now they've managed to work their way into Arsenal. The plant coming down from Dan. Joystick knocks out Scyther in the process, though, but then follows it up with a knife onto Merc. Where is TSM's response. We don't see anything from them. Pojo finally with the run out through Church, but that doesn't matter. Achieved also goes down without much contest. The Arsenal defense just falls to pieces. He's taking care of a default cam real quick. He probably got spotted in the process of this. So they know he's right around the corner, and you can see trying to take challenge on him. But once again, it's not going to work out. Pojo man. Ends up getting knocked out by Dan on the peak. You still have another player that could cause problems, but he's going to get pinched in a second, too, by Dan. There you go. Achieved is able to trade it back on the Jaeger. It's a small Joe. Never mind. He gets a second. Bolo goes down, but Achieved also caught seconds later by Scyther. Seals the deal for Empire. Window on the other side of Cash in order to make this execute happen. And well, they were just gifted the pick against Biologics. It looks like he was dealing with pressure in the garage itself. So with Dan finding that kill, this gets a whole lot easier for Empire. Again, for Roamers, it's absolute nightmare fuel when you your number continues to get called, and it seems like it's going to be all on the site presence now as Achieve will finally find Joystick. They're trying to battle back, but Merc as well as Achieve are already this off site. Nobody's they... worried about Garage right now. This could be massive. It is. It's going to knock down the Diffuser as they still have to be worried about Merc inside of Garage. Bio's rotating back as, or excuse me, Achieve is rotating back as well. Still plenty of time as they do still have control of Cash, but Merc to find Karzeka. That's a massive pick. Diffuser go down one again as Scyther has to try and don this mantle. Smart late round play here coming in from TSM. Should net them the win. Oh. There you go, achieved a slot through the wall. He knew the general position of Scyther. Once again, what else would you expect from Team Empire here on Clubhouse? There's, there's a reason you don't take him here. And that was a bold walk yeah. from cars there. Yeah, because Zeka really thought he was going fishing, didn't he? It's needed for Team Empire to try and bring this round back. Right now, it's more or less in a midst of Merc murdering literally everyone as he's looking for the A so far, but Scyther to shut him down as it's only Scyther and Shepard left alive on site. 30 seconds remaining. They still need to get this diffuser down. It's going to be the likes of Pojo Man's hands. So Bolo and Bio are the other two remaining members as Bolo tries to go for a nade. Quick shots, though by the Maverick will end up downing one. And it's going to be Bio to continue to add, or excuse me, Pojo Man to continue to tack on TSM with the first offensive round. Very, very hairy there, especially since Merc is all oh. the way across. But it's exactly. not going to matter as Bolo will get taken down. Dan watching the angle from underneath. Not getting over-aggressive either, especially since they got the early kill. Joystick reading Pojo Man like a book right there on top of seeing the shadow. Makes an easy pickup for him. Scyther will find Bio. As soon as Merc drops this, it's going to be a 5-3. And it's actually going to be Shepard through the hatch instead. 
Flawless round by Team Empire. They've been able to find one so far on every map. Still doing a great job of delaying those constant peaks are going to cause TSM to second guess themselves and slow down this attack by even more. They can't afford to wait any longer. They just got to go right forward. Achieved. Finally alive in this round. Leads the charge and makes up for a lack of himself in previous rounds. Immediately moves in to take out Karzeka. But the problem is smoke grenades are still able to delay this even further. One for one exchange back over at the cash stairs is going to continue to slow things down. Dan Shepard picking up kills. Bio trading it back. But Achieved is able to pick up that final frag against Shepard. This man is able to continue to do it again, again, and guess what? Again. As Pojo Man is trying to find this Kaid as he's able to rotate through and ends up losing out the gunfight to Karzeka, that TCS G12. Remaining members have to try and find something here. Things are getting a lot closer as Dan continues to add to it. No Claymore able to rotate back through CCTV. Actually can end, uh, ends up getting taken down. That will be a confirmed kill as no one's able to refrag. Move along to that match point. Karzeka, though, to shut down Merc. Once again, that shotgun's so very dangerous. He's going to try to work his way back over towards the site here now that he's been found out. He is trying to re into the Cade as the Cade will attempt to peek him out. However, it gets the better. The Cade at least downs him, and there's not a teammate nearby to quickly res him. That's not saying that can't happen later on, but he will leap in and get caught this time by Shepard as Empire claims yet another round. One away from closing out this map now. Focused on the church wall, though, as Bio is soon getting things open. Pojo will actually end up picking up Shepard as Pojo's all the way inside of sight. It gets refragged, though, as Achieve will be able to find a kill as things begin to pop off. We do still have a lot of blue presence so likes a joystick inside their immediate rotation over to oil pit a quick drop and joystick rip the head off of Merc you gotta be worried about that this man's been playing here almost every single round Scyther last man inside of blue will be able to take down bio can he continue to tack on us now to two versus two Dan Scyther versus Achieved and Bolo from inside of Armory and he's actually gonna end up winning one out as Bolo's gonna get extremely aggressive for some reason Achieved the last one alive and Dan takes him down as well Team Empire take Clubhouse and we're going to Border. Ooh, that's going to be fun, man. I am looking forward to going to Border. I just, I just really want you to be wrong. Well, it's, you already it's said gonna it. It's going to be Echo, dude. Yeah, it's going to be Echo. Yeah, it's going to be Echo. I already know it is. Watch this. Watch, legion, watch. Legion. Nope. <sighs> Maestro! Oh, they flipped no! it. No! <laughs> no! I've been, dude. Could get lucky and find that player. But no, Karzeka sent a nade upstairs instead right on top of him. Set him flying and into the grave. Is, they're going to have to try and contest customs. Karzeka suddenly walking through. He's going to be able to win out the gunfight. No, it's going to be almost an equal trade. Pojo on very low oh, HP as well. He's going to have the prone oh, angel oh. angle. And it's going to be Karzeka with the skeleton key. Shepard now putting the diffuser okay, down. Biles downstairs as well. As actually, everyone's off of sight. This is going to be for free. No one can Attacker stop this. Yes, I'm spreading their wings a little bit too wide on this round. And it seemed to achieve. We'll finally trade a kill back as he catches Karzeka on the buck. But that's a small gesture at this point. Great. You brought a 2v5 down to a 2v4, you have no position to retake the site with. So what exactly are you going to do? They did try to throw out a Nitro Cell, but it's not going to work out. One more kill picked up by Bio will be the end of it. More so the freedom, I guess you could say, to jump into it here on this round. Karzeka gets us started out once again, finding Merc early in the round. Ooh. Golo with a great find, though. Able to isolate out Joystick a second later, and a Pojo Man also catches the trade onto Karzeka. What's happening no. inside of CCTV? Shepard continues to dance with this angle. Hops through the window, immediately taking down Bolo, immediately to his right. Another Another gunfight, but it's going to be Bio to take him down. It's all left up to Dan, who's biding his time inside a break room, waiting for a chief to peek, and he's going to find it. And now punishing that out. Dan does have the diffuser. He can't possibly get this down. Going to rush through, but immediately his feetsies are going to get eaten up by that SMG 11 of Pojo Man. And Merc's going to be holding down the bottom of metal. Pojo's going to get very aggressive, but he doesn't even know where he is. Shepard is just a <laughs> ghost right now. Pojo not able to find him. It's going to be all up to Merc. They're going to have him on the yokais, though, as he will knock down one. Does he get the second? He will. That's going to be the diffuser as well. Merc on a triple because he's going to have to try and ace it out to win this. Holding an angle inside of server, though. Hop through this wall is going to be the toughest part. Those last two kills, though, that's that pre-game. I was talking about the pre-game for Merc. It's next level as he finds yet another kill on the cusp of an ace now. Just needs one more. And look at how low Karzeka is. Could be playing into. No reason for him to peek right now. A drone was just spotted out. Less than a quarter of the time left. And Karzeka, he doesn't catch the foot around the server block and throws away the potential ace clutch, giving yet another round to Empire, but just barely. And just start to push directly towards the workshop itself. Ooh, a nice unpeek. He nearly managed to catch Karzeka there, but Karzeka gets the kill himself instead. He turns it back around. Oh, an adjustment on the Merc.
work as well to find Tim and take him down. And now they're going to walk right into the site. They still have to worry about Rome potential upstairs as they did not clear it. That is going to be a problem for them. And you can already see that bearing fruit achieved. Able to pick off Dan, but that was the attempt to clear them out. Empire took a huge gambit by attempting this plant without that control. Karzeka continues, however, finds his third kill on the round. Shepard gets the fourth. And now it's all down onto achieved in a 1v3 scenario. No positioning to play with. Scyther finishes it off for Empire, and they continue to push ahead at the match. So I like this good work with Karzeka. Joystick will take down Bolo as well as Karzeka is going to continue to find that information that Joystick needs. He continues on this train, trying to find round number four for at least Team Empire. And as you can see, the defensive setup, as you kind of expect on a site like this, is just going to get torn to shreds. Pojo Man able to trade back for one kill Joystick. <laughs> <laughs> Takes him a second, but he does find Achieved. Doing a little bit of hunting through the wall there. Gets him done, and as well, Poja Man is going to get caught. Pretty rudimentary spot. So we'll see if he's able to find oh. anything. It's going to be Merc to fall. They didn't even drone the hallway oh, yet. No! Dan! Oh, no! Oh, my do that. God! Pojo! Good night, my friend, as Dan continues his reign with this ACOG. And this is what I was talking about, just losing the plot far too quickly here. Bolo with a good entry. Achieved to follow it up. This might reignite them slightly into the round, but it's already down to just those two players. You still have three standing strong. Able to pick the man apart. Quick shots as Jaeger will not fall. Joystick's going to take a little bit of damage, but it's actually going to be Bolo as Joystick will finally get his head ripped off, but not before he does a lot of damage to achieve. Rock in a hard place now. Scyther's going to try and get aggressive, but the man has already rotated out. Dan still playing inside of offices as well. Bolo has been down, actually downstairs. I don't think they're able to recognize out. Cancel that. They have been able to recognize out that the man is down. Achieve trying to pull off a miracle here right now. The nade bounce probably going to fall a little bit short for his needs. But it might bite him a little bit. At least I was hoping a few seconds of idle time. Not going to be the case. Dan strikes yet again with what I believe was a third kill on the round. Credit where credit's due. Achieved with that trade. Does start to force the way back in. The problem is on execute, they haven't really done a lot of drone work as far as I've been able to tell. And that means they're walking into some pretty solid setups here from Empire. Bio trading it back again. If he can get one more kill, they've got a chance in this one. But Achieved actually running around the corner on Joystick. He's not ready for it. That's that second kill they needed to find in order to bring them back into it. Now they've tied it up at 2v2. Trying to keep himself alive as, once again, they are on the customs defense. They're on the full rotation right now. Can they win it on the offsite? Until Mabel out Shepard to figure out that the drop happened. Either way, Cars is going to be lined up on a perfect angle to catch Bio. When he peeks, that hatch. Now all down onto Achieved. He'll go for a nade into the corner. It's not going to matter. Cars picks him off on peak. And that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Empire will win the opening match of our Alpha Stream here for the Major. Push themselves further into Group A, whereas TSM will now go down to the lower bracket.